Good morning, everybody. Uh, first, I want to apologize for not getting to you to, uh, yesterday. Uh, it was just, I knew it was going to be a really hectic day, and I needed to get started early. But I have several things I want to show you here today, and I'll just go over uh, real quick what we're going to talk about. Um, I've had several people that said I went over uh, the book that Mary sent me and the, the fabrics and all that too fast. So I've laid them out again, and I'm going to show you that again at the end of the video. I've just been so overwhelmed with this book, I can't even tell you. Uh, but we're going to go over that just for real quick, and I'll try to go over it slow so you can see what was in it. Um, it she was just super, super generous with her packets, and it's just it, it just really overwhelmed me. I'm still overwhelmed by it. But um, we're going to go over that. I have had several messages and a couple of posts under videos uh, and uh, several private messages from uh, friends that um, are interested in the Kindness Rock program. And um, a few of you have told me that you, ha you are in it or you have been in it before. Um, so you can start it in your own area. It is nothing. You're not obligated in any way. It doesn't have to cost any money. Uh, it's just something that you can do to lift others up and encourage, and I can't even begin to tell you. I wish I'd kept all the notes uh, and things that I've received from people that have found my rocks, and I'll go over that just real quick uh, at the end. And I'm going to be talking about, um, for, we have Friday freebies in February, and let's see, that will be picked either tomorrow or Saturday morning, probably Saturday morning. So, and I pick that from the comments underneath. I'll just pick a day. I mean, I, at random, at random. I'll pick a day, count the comments, individual comments. Nobody will be counted twice. Count the individual comments under that. Put from one to that number, however many comments, in the, uh, the spin the wheel thing on the internet. And that's how we'll pick our winner for this week. And that's what we're going to do next week, too. Um, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. I I think um, I, I want to talk to you, too, uh, in just a minute about the March Project. I've got a thing in mind. I posted about it in the Grandma Group. If you're not in the Grandma Group, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love, I would love for you to go over and join us there, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. And it is a very busy, very active group. Uh, you'll have friends uh, that you can talk to on there or ask a question to or show what you've made or just anything at just about any hour of the day. Many, many. Well, I mean, we're a very active group. We have a lot of shut-ins. We have a lot of grandmas who uh, don't have a, a lot of other irons in the fire, so they have time to be on there. And they enjoy talking and sharing and, and all that. So um, I haven't made a whole lot of headway in my book. This is the cover of my book, and um, it is not completed yet. I go through and do all my pages. I always do this. Go through and do the pages. Then I go back and start at the front and embellish. That helps to keep the book laying just a little bit flatter as I go along. Um, this is page one and two. This is page three and four. And again, there will be uh, a lot, a lot of embellishment on all these pages. I left this page um, blank when I passed it because... Um, I have an idea for this page, and I'll share that with you, maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Monday. If we can, we want to wrap this up by the end of February. Um, we still have a little ways to go, but uh, this is, a, I want to keep my book simplified. I'm telling you, some of the pictures, some of the uh, pics and photos and things that you all have posted of your books are just out of this world. I mean, I am so amazed at the jobs you've done. And some of you have made books before and uh, maybe even sell them or whatever, but uh, oh my gosh, the books are just, I'm just overwhelmed by even that because you've just done a tremendous job. But I have an idea on this page, so I just left it blank until I could get to it. This is the Grandma and Grandpa page. I love this page. This was the very simple page in the book, and this may not get more embellishments. I wanted to keep this page simple. She has a little bow up here. He has a little piece of... Um, uh, what is that, folks? Um, uh, my mind is spinning. I tell you, I think this is just between you all and me. Don't tell anybody else. Don't. I know this goes around the world, but this is our secret. I think we have an arsonist in Massac County. We have had like four or five fires. We had, was it three or four overnight? I have been up all night. I accidentally dozed off at 4.30. I was going to just stay up because it was time. I was past time I normally get up. But we had, I mean, it was at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, right on the hour, 
So I'm telling you, I'm on this investigation. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> Who is doing this? I have a clue. Um, so uh, I've been up all night. So I, my mind is, it's just gone this morning. Okay, now this is what um, I need to work on today if I can get to it. And I don't know what I'm going to do. This stuff that's laying here may not even be used. <laughs> so, um, but I love this fabric. That's the fabric we talk about all the time from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this would have to, of course, be coffee uh, dyed uh, heavy. And, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I love this fabric, too. I haven't used that anywhere in the book. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to put a big clock in my book because what church didn't have a big clock on the wall and how many of you moms and grandmas have sat there and watched that clock thinking oh my goodness I hope I kept that oven down low enough that dinner's going to be okay when we get home <laughs> so the church clock is a, a very important part of a church auditorium so that's what uh, that clock is laying there for I want to use it somewhere in the book and then I have these two pages uh, and um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there I may tear that one out and not even use it because I need two pockets back here. And I want to wrap this up. I want to be able to wrap it up by the end of February. So this is what I have so far. And uh, we'll just see. Uh, I'll try to get on it today. I, I don't know how some people, um, well, I do too because a lot of people don't have the irons in fire that I do. I mean, I'm doing the rocks. I do the uh, junk journals, uh, you know, I do the stories every morning. I've got the grandma page. And then I also have the cooking, the laundry, <laughs> keeping up with this old geezer, and so many things like that. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. But what a blessed life. There are people that are, um, you know, wheelchair-bound or bed-bound or home-bound even and alone, and they have nothing. So I am so blessed to have such a busy life at 75 years old. Um, okay, so let's put that aside. That's what I've got so far, and I'm still working on it. Let's see. I'll put this in here. This is just an old book, The Art of Storytelling. Let me lay this over here. Uh, let's see what, I mean, I'm not, I have no plans to use this necessarily. 1916 is, and that's The Art of Storytelling. I haven't read the book. I just saw it at a junk store and got it because I love storytelling. I love to tell stories, um, and I write them on my page. So I invite you all to come over and join my personal Facebook page, Kay Comer on Facebook. My profile picture is our wedding in my mom and dad's living room because Billy's, um, um, leave was changed from the army and he just showed up one day it wasn't even time for him to be home yet and he showed up and he said my leave was changed I'm so sorry can we elope <laughs> I said we can't elope, elope but let me go talk to mom and let's see what we can work out so uh, where was I going with that oh come to my page and listen to my stories I try to tell a story every morning uh, and I try to do a good night story and I got that idea from our wonderful Debbie Lambert <laughs> oh my goodness her images and things at night, a morning and night both, are just so inspirational. I just love what she does. And uh, I just decided to start doing it on my page, except I do tell a little story. I've always got a story. You just throw a word out there, and I'll have a story to wrap around it. So um, I've started doing an evening story when I can, and yesterday's story was just uh, our daughter's friend sent me that yesterday, and uh, he said, I knew uh, immediately when I saw this, this was, it, this made me think of you, and I knew I had to send it to you. So I used it for my good night story last night, and it's about an old grandma, and it is so funny, it will give you a belly laugh. I laughed the whole time I was reading that story, and I've read so many things trying to come up with these, uh, with the good stories and stuff uh, out of my stash. You know, it takes a lot to make me belly laugh, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, that did. Okay, um, let's see. Real quick, what I want, what I'm considering for the month of March is to have these books done as far, as much as we can by the end of February, the last day in February. And I think that's a week from Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure. So we'll have these done. Or if you need to linger on a little bit, that's okay. I started two at the beginning, and so I'm going to... Why am I not have a book in view here? That's going to be the picture they'll pick for my um, little thing, Majigger. A picture of nothing. <laughs> um... Uh, where was I going? Oh my gosh, my mind is spinning. Um, 
my doctor said, he's told me this so many times, he said, your mind, we've got to slow your mind down. It spins at an un unreal rate. He said, we've got to slow it down so you can sort things out and get things done. I can't stay focused. <clears throat> I said, no, I've always been like this. I'm going to stay like this. We'll just everybody have to deal with it, and I deal with it the best I can. I have bought a big legal pad, <laughs> and so I empty my brain as I think of things. I empty my, my brain on that legal pad on the kitchen table every morning. Now, I've just been doing that a few days, and that has helped so much. Okay, so I'm thinking about a bullet journal for March. Uh, give me your thoughts on it. Comment in the comments down below. Uh, or send me a private message, whatever. If you have made bullet journals, send me a picture of what you've done. Uh, we'll be uh, going along with this together if this is what we decide to do. We will have other projects, small projects, just a little daily craft with me's and things in March. But um, we'll just work on our, our and it will be a March um, bullet journal. It'll be a, a we'll just do it a for a month, one month project like we're doing everything else. So uh, all you would have to do is do a little bit in it each day or every couple of days or whatever. And uh, and I put some ideas on uh, the grandma page. I did a little uh, post this morning and asking their opinions on it. And so there's a lot of good uh, ideas and advice and things on that. So be sure and go over Junk Journals from Grandma Fluff. you got to be in that group. You just don't know what you're missing. Okay. Um, the Kindness Rocks. Back to that. Uh, several people have asked. I mean, there's been quite a few where I wouldn't take the time to do this. About the Kindness Rocks. Let me give you a quick peep at this. Um, they start with, mine start with creek rocks. Uh, geezer takes me to the creek uh, about five miles away. We get the creek rocks. I come home and wash them. I spritz them with, uh, first with peroxide, rinse them, and then spritz them with alcohol. Let them set a few minutes and rinse them because, you know, all those animals and things, the jiggers are going to potty in that creek. So I want to be sure they're good and clean. I hose them off before I even bring them in the house. So, uh, I'll show you how we're going to, how I do that. Several people are wanting to do it in their own hometowns. I would love to help get that started in your own hometowns. This little guy right here, I only did about five of those. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I only did about five of those. See? The goofy face. Uh, because uh, one of the kids at church asked me if I could do something for kids. So I did a bunch and gave them away at church. <coughs> but I did about five and put them out in the community. And let me just pick him up <coughs> instead of moving this. One of these little rascals is in Ireland. He was picked up at the Welcome Center. My husband said, if you want those books, those rocks to really travel, you need to call, go out to the Welcome Center, take some with you, show them what you got, and see if they'll let you place them out there. Well, they were delighted. They wanted hundreds. So um, I started putting them out there, and this was picked up at the Welcome Center, ended up in Ireland and uh, they sent me a picture and a story the man did, and it's at the meeting of the Five Rivers or something in a state park in Ireland. He put it at the base of a tree and took a picture. But uh, there's so many things you can do, and the stories and things, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. I'm going to try to do that on Saturday with that video, because that'll be kind of a, a short video. Otherwise, we'll be telling the winner of the, uh, uh, the uh, Friday freebies in February. Okay, we got the rocks. We got the book out of the way. We got the rocks out of the way. Uh, we've got uh, maybe what we're going to do in March. Give me your thoughts on that. Comment down below. Uh, it can be anything simple, simple, simple. You can start with a spiral notebook or you can make a little paper book and put 30 pages, 31 pages, 30 days of September, <laughs> June and November, all the rest have 31. So March has 31. So um, you can make a paper book with 31 pages or whatever you want to do. But I think it would be a fun, fun project, and then we'll do other things along the way uh, during March. Okay, let's take a peek at Mary's. Um, oh, here goes the camera. Let's take a peek. This is just a slow look, and they said pan out. I don't pan out enough. Okay, let's see here what we can do. And I go too fast. I knew I went too fast. I've told you all I go too fast. There were just so many little things in this packet. Oh my goodness gracious. Just so many things. That is a bag of bags right there with that heart on the front. A bag of bags. 
just, I mean, I just, goodness, look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, now the book. Let's go with the book again, just real, real quick. Um, whoops, no way, I got to pan back out to do the book. I'll be so glad when I'm set up over in my craft room, and so will my hubby. <laughs> Okay, I put a lot of the laces down through the pages, between the pages, because I love rags and stuff just tucked into the pages. So I'm not going to go through the book all at once uh, today, because I did do a page at a time the other day. But this was the most beautiful book, and she has taken pictures of uh, my, my geezer and myself and our kids and put them in the book and then put little stories that I had done on them in the book. And it is just the most beautiful, beautiful thing. I just, and that's a letter she wrote me, and I tucked that in. Okay. Oh, I just love this. Absolutely love this book. And um, it's in the display, sitting in the display on the piano. And um, I just, there is no way I can thank her enough for what she did with this book. Okay. I hope. Uh, left out anything. Uh, I'm making a mess here. But anyway, I hope I haven't left out anything. Uh, this is what we got for today, anyway, good or bad. Um, so, um, let's see, this is Thursday, so I'll try to meet you back here tomorrow. What are we going to talk about tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, if I don't get more done on this book, I may not be back till Saturday morning. I'll just have to see. Uh, said so many times, and I hear thunder, so I've got to get this uploaded and posted. <laughs> We're having storms all day today. Um, I've said so many times, I'm not a professional junk journal maker. Lord, help us, thank goodness. And um, But, um, so I, I mean, I just do what what I like. Um, you know, I just, I just experiment. It's what I do, experiment. So, um, I'm going to get off of here, I think, get some things done. I'll try to be back here. I probably won't be back here tomorrow. I'll just make the video on Saturday. We'll have um, uh, the giveaway, uh, and I'll be counting under one of the posts. I don't know, and we only had two this week. So I'll be counting under those, and uh, and there's a chance I could be here tomorrow. Who knows? You never know what I'm going to do. Okay, got this investigation going. You know I can't let that go, and I got... I've got a lot of home stuff done. Be sure and check my page. Look at those stories, especially that one last night about that grandma. That was so funny. You talk about making your day. That was the best story. Um, okay. I hope you have a super duper grand and groovy day. And I hope you get a little kindness and spread a little kindness absolutely everywhere you go. Love and hugs.